Migrating your Linux desktop to a new desktop environment is not as hard as you might think. Many think that in order to change the appearance of their desktop, you need to switch distributions or reinstall your current one in a different flavor. But that's not how Linux works. The reality is that many and especially the most popular distributions out there actually offer whole sets of desktop environments that you can swap to or even install side by side. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can do that. As with a lot of things on Linux, not every Linux distribution works the same. So here's a quick overview of the most popular ones. Fedora-based distros generally use desktop environment groups. Debian or Ubuntu, as well as Arch-based ones, tend to just use a package name. And OpenSUSE uses so-called patterns to install all needed dependencies. On some cases, like Ubuntu, there are several flavors you can choose. A default minimal installation or the whole Kubuntu version. Which one you want to install is entirely your choice. If you use a different distro, then I recommend looking up what it's based on and use your package manager search functionality to identify the packages. On Fedora, we can get all available desktop environments by listing all groups and the desktop filter. Sometimes, if you look for a desktop environment, you might notice that there is more than one entry. Like mentioned earlier, this could be due to distro-specific modifications or they simply offer a broader variety to provide more flexibility. In my case, I want to install the full KD Plasma experience, which we can do with a simple sudo dnf install at and then the name of the group. Once the download and installation is complete, you might get a prompt to select which login manager you want to use by default. In our case, that would be STDM, since it's the default for KDE Plasma. It's also a good practice to restart your PC now. Once it's back, we can now select KDE Plasma from the list of available desktop environments and log right into it. Now, if you want to use two different desktop environments, then that's fine. But there are a few things to consider. For once, desktop environment native packages are of course visible in each session, and settings like icon themes, font sizes and similar are synced between them, since it's essentially just a user configuration. For example, if we log back into GNOME, then we see that the icons as well as the font configuration changed. Many with multi-desktop environment configurations work around that issue by simply using custom icon themes or fonts. But it's definitely something to be aware of. Oh, and by the way, Plasma only changed the configuration during installation. Once set manually, it doesn't get enforced anymore. But let's say you want to swap desktop environments for good. Well, if you haven't yet installed it, you could swap it with the swap command. Or, if you did follow the steps, then we can also deinstall a desktop environment simply by removing it with the group name as well. Better also give it a restart, just in case. If everything worked, good for you. But for everyone else, troubleshooting time. If your PC boots into a screen like this after swapping or removing a desktop environment, then this usually means that the login manager is not set to auto start, or that the desktop environment of your choice didn't even come with one. You can fix this by enabling it like so, or by simply installing one. If you're also swapping from a default desktop environment, like it's the case on Fedora with GNOME, then you might also notice that not all packages have been removed from your system, as they are protected. This is a security measure that is in place so that you don't actually delete something that you might regret. We can usually change this by either overriding this limitation, or if your distro offers it, changing the release identity, which also automatically protects some new packages. It's best to look those steps up for your specific distribution, but now you know that a black screen is usually caused by the login manager, or sometimes often called display manager, not starting, and your distro might protect packages which you want to uninstall. Another thing that is not really a troubleshooting problem, but in my opinion still relevant is, that different desktop environments also come with different so-called keyring solutions. What that means is that stored credentials or browser sessions are not remembered and you have to relog in everywhere again. There are ways how you can enable different key rings and make them available, but I generally don't really recommend it as it involves some work setting it up. And there it is. You now have successfully swapped desktop environments or installed them 
side by side. But there are of course some things that you want to consider. For once, dependencies and settings. While removing an old desktop environment usually works fairly well on Linux, not every dependency is as black and white as you might think. Fonts, for example, are being kept, and the same goes for some created directories. This is usually not a huge problem, since they only waste a few kilo or maybe megabytes. But if you want a clean installation, then you maybe should do a clean installation. But overall, I find it pretty awesome that you can do it. And there is even an actual use case that I can think of. Many in the Linux community like to use tiling window managers, but setting them up the way you want and especially making them beautiful takes time. If you are very busy, then maybe installing a tiling window manager side by side with a regular desktop environment might not be that bad of an idea. They come with a very small number of dependencies, so they don't mess up your preferences, and you always have a fully-fledged desktop environment as a fallback if you mess up something. When initially getting into tiling window managers, this might actually be a solid approach, especially if you want to test it on your actual hardware. I don't know, could be useful. So yeah, Linux is as modular as it can be. And you don't have to switch Linux distributions or reinstall your OS with a different flavor if you don't want to. Switching your desktop environment is generally very easy, faster and surprisingly reliable. And now you know as well how you can do it and what to look out for. If you've liked this video, then please make sure to show it with a like and why don't you also subscribe to the channel as well. Thanks for watching and all that's left to say now is good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you are. I'll see you around.